How to create a scarcity mindset for your audience by using Thrive Ultimatum. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, this is Erfan here and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to share with you that how you can create a scarcity mindset or I would say a countdown timer by using Thrive Ultimatum for all of your visitors or someone who visits your website. It's super cool guys, stick with me until the end of this video because you're going to see something really really cool that I've been personally using and it's been really successful. So uh, as I said, uh, what I use for uh, creating countdown timers is called Thrive Ultimatum which is by Thrive themes so if you remember for the last uh you know couple of days or i would say for the last week uh i've been posting contents about thrive themes because i cannot explain uh enough that how uh important it is and how essential it is to have such a plugin on your website if you really want to have a fully optimized website so let's get into thrive themes like right now because uh some of you are probably new to this video um, by the way if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit uh give me a thumbs up and also turn on the notification bell so next time if i upload a video you'll get notified so i'm going to show you that what thrive themes is and how many plugins they provide you so uh this is a thrive themes by the way uh, the link is down below in the description you can get access to thrive themes and secure all of your plugins right away so fry themes go to our products you will see they have tons of uh, plugins that you can actually go for like fry theme builder i have a separate video for that fry architect i have a video fry quiz builder i also have a video for that uh, fry leads fry ovation uh, that my last video Thrive Comments, Thrive Optimize, Thrive Ultimatum that we are covering right now is just for creating a scarcity mindset. It's like a evergreen countdown campaigns and Thrive Apprentice for online courses. So I pretty much have, uh, you know, for, uh, videos for all of these plugins here uh, that you can check it out. I put a card exactly above this video that you can click on and then you can watch the previous videos if you miss them out because they are so cool, so engaging, and if you use them properly, you're gonna make a huge engagement with your customers or your audience. So, um, okay, so let's get into Thrive Ultimatum, guys. So once you, oh, by the way, if I wanna show you that how much it's going to cost you, for example, for Thrive Ultimatum, so the membership is only In this video, I will show you the month, most and powerful you will be, conversion. And you will be able to uh, have all of the plugins at the same time. So it means that you don't have to buy them individually because each one of them costs uh, something between $39 to $67 each one of them. And if you want to buy all of them, it's going to cost you $500. So it's better to go for the monthly plan. And if this is the Thrive Ultimatum. You can scroll down and see the price here. Yes, Thrive Ultimatum is $97, not even $67 that I told you. $97 for one website. $147 for five websites and $399 for 15 websites. This is huge. And look at this. For the membership, only $19 a month and you will be able to use all the plugins at the same time. No one-time fee, uh, no $97, no $147, just 19 bucks a month. That's all. So you're good to go. So this is the sales page of it. Again, the link is down below in the description. Go check it out. And after downloading Thrive Ultimatum, uh, I mean Thrive Themes, you will see such a thing, Thrive Dashboard. Click on Thrive Dashboard and you will be able to see all the plugins here. So let's scroll down, Thrive Ultimatum, boom. Ultimatum Dashboard, we go there and then here we can create a campaign. So we can you know, create multiple campaigns depending on your goal. There's also a tutor uh, tutorial video here that you can check it out. But uh for now i'm gonna go for a new campaign here we have a couple of options that we can go for like building from scratch seven day offer christmas special or end of month special so i'm personally a few a huge fan of uh evergreen ones so i'm going to show you in the next step but we don't really have to build from scratch seven day offer might be enough because you can you know increase the time so it doesn't really matter i go for seven day offer but it's evergreen and it's super cool so i go for test one continue 
this is my campaign name and here I can see the dashboard so we already chosen our campaign which is the evergreen campaign I'm a huge fan of it for display if you click on edit here you will be able to choose that where exactly wants that countdown timer to pop up it can be all of your pages all of your posts some certain pages that you can choose like this you know this kind of stuff like for this one it makes sense that I go for all posts and all pages but at the end of the day it depends on you which page which specific page you want this countdown timer to show on uh, you can go to pages right here and then all of your pages will appear and you can just choose you know just how many you want and then save and close but for this purpose uh, I'm gonna go for all pages all posts save and close we are done evergreen campaign here you can change it so evergreen as I said I'm a huge fan of it because it's uh doesn't doesn't need me anymore so i just set it and forget it and it does the work for each user so and the thing is that for evergreen campaign you can set a time you can set a duration here that how long i want that evergreen campaign to last i go for seven days i go for two days five days ten days i can go for ten days right now and then here i can choose that what i want to uh lock it down uh, or i don't want it uh, I don't want to repeat this campaign. I don't want to set realistic end time. I just want it to be evergreen that uh, if a new user comes to my page, they can actually uh, see that every single time. I mean, for each new user, uh, there's going to be an evergreen timer. This is what I want. I don't want to set a realistic end time. Otherwise, uh, I mean, if you want to do that, so if, if you really want to end your offer uh, on a certain date, then you can go for it but I don't want to do that so and then you can save here again we have oh uh, by the way so evergreen campaign as this that I just said it right now we have recurring campaign recurring campaign is that for uh, like you set a specific date like 14th of each month 14th day of each month you have an offer that it automatically does that each every single month on the 14th day and this is what recurring campaign is if you have a really, really specific day and time that you uh, have an offer for you can go for recurring campaigns so you don't have to go for evergreen every single month it's gonna update that campaign and then based on your offer it's gonna start so it's for a very specific day every single month and fixed dates campaigns so or recurring campaign you can see that here that the start date you can set a start date here we have uh, hour date, hour time, and also repeats. We can go for daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. So it totally depends on you that how often you want this countdown timer to pop up on your website or your one of your pages. So start date, start hour, duration. We have it here. Repeat uh, for the ends, never after on on end hour. So it, this is something that it's totally totally up to you for a start date I can go for today is August 27th I can go for 31st 31st day of each month and the repeat is the one so repeat every one day and the duration is 10 hours and then it's done every single month on 31st I run it for 10 hours and then it's over this is how it works for recurring campaign so this is how it is fixed date campaigns it's exactly on it's exactly on actually for it's one day so for example I go for September uh, I go for September 4th and that's it this is this offer is only for September 4th and after that it's it ends so it doesn't last longer than September 4th of 2020 and my offer will be will be over and this is what it does we have your date set up here your hour you can go for the time you can go for the end time you can see you know you can actually set when it should uh, ends you know how long you want it to last so from four, September 4th to September 10th to September 15th to next month whatever you want so but it's just a one time it's a fixed dates campaign it's not like a recurring campaign that every single month on a specific day it does that so it's actually fixed between uh, you know some certain period of time and then everything campaign you're familiar with that so I'm gonna just 
uh, leave it on evergreen campaign here for display. I can edit it for you. So I already done that for all pages, all posts. Here we have our design. So if you're wondering that how it looks like on your pages or your post, here we are. And we have it on top, which is called ribbon. And you can edit it. You can just change the text and however it wants. You know, time before this offer ends. Like we can say, uh, 60 percent 60 off uh special affiliate marketing course ends something like this 60 percent off a special affiliate marketing course ends in this state here and the evergreen timer is for 23 hours, or you can just change it the way you want. I can, I can go for like, I don't know, for this is a layout and position. I can go for, yeah, we, we need to set it, I mean, in the previous page, this is just a demo. We can actually uh, change the settings here. We can change the color here, like this color, the red is always good. It's, it's, it shows the sense of urgency. And we lay out in position, you can change it the way you want. Uh, we have background style, we can set a picture here, or you can just leave it like this. Border and, border and corners, animation and action, and that's it. When you're done with it, you can also change the text of this button here. And then uh, for this call to action button, you can set it, uh, a target URL here that what would happen after someone uh, uh, clicks on this button. So. If someone clicks on this button, what should happen? You can set a target URL here that they should go to a you know, certain page or you can go to animation and action and here you can make a pop-up in animation and action and that's how you need to do it. And save work, once you're done with it, close it and then here, here we are. It's already done, uh, top ribbon. As I said, if you do, again go to it, you will see that it's already saved. 60% of a special affiliate marketing course ends in this time and then get it now here. You can also add a last three days. So it's because it's a seven day offer, right? Uh, it, it runs on seven day offer and last three days. So you can also change this setting. For the last three days, you can change the whole thing. You can change the date, you can change the text and this kind of stuff. So once you're done with it, there's also a timeline here that you can follow because this seven day uh, campaign is actually for seven day and for the last three days it's actually kind of 10 days I believe and then how this is how you need to do that and for new design just feel free to go for a new design we have different types of uh, countdown timer templates like for bottom ribbon widgets short code uh, shortcut is really cool if you have a you know if you were blogging and if you want to put it in between the text you can do that to make a sense of urgency they or they can you know opt into your email um, uh, they can opt into your autoresponder or they can get the offer right away so for widgets and bottom ribbon you know you know what they are so for the, for example for the widget they have different templates I just want to show you how many uh, templates they have you will be shocked that it's super cool. It's not just for Thrive Ultimatum, for all of the plugins, they have tons of templates that you can go for. Just look at this. For just widgets, we have so many templates here that you can use for, and use for your website. It depends on the template of your website and you're not limited to these design guys. You can always, always change them the way you want. So for example, if I go for widget sets 009, I can choose a template and then you can, I can do whatever I want. I can change the background, I can change the, uh, the, the call to action, you know, background color or the text or whatever I want. And this is how it works. It's just a seven day challenge because it's a seven day, uh, you know what, seven day countdown timer. That's why I cannot change it because it starts from uh, today for seven days. And this is why I cannot change anything right now. And then I close it. And then here we are, we have widget, we have top ribbon, we can have bottom ribbon, we can have them for different time sets to not to uh, interfere with each other, you know what I mean? And you, that's how we can do that. And then once you are done with everything, so we have uh, our campaign here, 
now you can click on start campaign and it will get us started easy very easy very simple very attractive very high engaging and there's no excuse that if someone visits your website they don't opt in or they don't get offered it's impossible they will get it uh, if you do that properly i just showed you an overview that how you can use it you can definitely better you can definitely better do a better job than me but i just wanted to show you that how it works you can always edit it here and then you can edit the campaign here here you can have different campaigns you can have, you know you can have 100 campaigns uh and you can you know just do different things with it this is how we can do that guys it's super cool new campaign just have it so many times it doesn't really matter and then we have our date and time setting here that you can set and uh, archive campaigns that we don't have any that's it guys for thrive ultimatum scarcity mindset that's it uh this is for your offer or your product or if you want to just you know sell your products faster you can drive traffic to your website and use one of these plugins to make a sense of urgency as i said guys don't forget to go for all of the plugins if you really need a full functionality of Thrive themes and if you want to have a fully optimized website because i have uh, you know kind of a decent number of videos about fry themes you can check them out uh, i put a card above this video i think i put it uh in, at, the, at the beginning of this video also don't forget to check out my channel to watch them if you miss them out because i don't want you to miss out on this because it's you're you're putting a lot of money on the table if you are not using it properly but anyways it's totally up to you <laughs> but the links all of the links are down below in the description below this video go check them out Go, uh, you know, check out Fry Themes. If you have any questions, please leave your comments below this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit, uh, give me a thumbs up and also turn on the notification bell. Next time, if I upload a video, you'll get notified. And thanks for watching this video and see you next time.